Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Junkie Bender, and this is the second episode of the Fort Report. Yes, I decided to call it Fort Report, even though it's a really stupid name. Uh, I've just been looking around, and I can't find anybody else that's using that name, so I think it's just going to stick. Before we begin, let me just state that the background, if you haven't noticed already, is just some Team Rumble. I uh, do pretty good. I get, I think, 27 or 28 kills. Uh, I mean, that might not be a really high number for, you know, some of you guys, but to me, that was pretty good. Okay, now, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the Fortnite Cross Endgame uh, promotion. That happened, like, about a month ago or so, maybe a little bit longer. And in my opinion, I kind of think that the whole thing was a bit of a fail. It wasn't, you know, horrible. It just didn't reach its full potential. If you guys remember, there was the Endgame Limited Time Mode, which was a really fun mode that a lot of people uh, really enjoyed. And then there was also the two other forms of cross-promotion, which were the Star-Lord skin bundle, or well, skin uh, set, and the Black Widow skin set. Now, I don't really have a problem with those two skin sets uh, alone. Except for the fact that the Star-Lord uh, character does not really look like uh, Star-Lord in the movies or in the comics, but that's a little- that doesn't really matter. My main issue with this, though, is uh, I feel like Fortnite could have gone further with uh, what they offered to sell as uh, cosmetics. For example, I'm just uh, astonished that we didn't get any uh, other skins of uh, more prominent, more well-known heroes, uh, like, for example, uh, a Captain America skin, a Iron Man skin, a Spider-Man skin, those would have sold so well and I'm surprised, I I'm not sure why they didn't uh, offer those skins. Now of course there could be a lot that goes into this, uh, perhaps, um, you know, Fortnite didn't have in contract to be able to use uh, any other skins besides the Black Widow and the Star-Lord skins, I'm not sure, but I think that uh, Fortnite would have made a, a lot of money, uh, as well as Marvel, through offering more skins some missed opportunities that uh, Fortnite could have offered in terms of cosmetics would have been, for example, a baby group back bling, have it be a pet kind of back bling, uh, and sell it in the store, similar to how they did with the, the cat back bling, or cat pet that they offered a while ago. Sell it for a thousand V-Bucks, similar to just to how they did the cat. Like I mentioned earlier, some other missed opportunities would have been uh, skins of more iconic heroes like uh, Spider-Man, would have been cool if you, you could just run around with Spider-Man, but also give us the, the variant where he has that yellow you know jacket he wears in Homecoming. Also Thor and Captain America, Iron Man also. I'm not sure why uh, they didn't offer these, and I think they're just missed opportunities. I'm hoping that Fortnite will get another chance to offer these cosmetics again, maybe with the next uh, you know Marvel movie, whatever it's going to be. Of course, I'm still waiting for my favorite Marvel character to get some recognition of Fortnite. That would be Howard the Duck. Look him up. Okay, now the second thing I wanted to talk about was a new Team Rumble Victory Royale screen um, concept that Reddit user EA Skate posted on the Fortnite Reddit. Here's a clip of it, and I'm just going to show it to you real quick. What I like is that it shows the top three kill leaders for the winning team, showing how many kills they also have. And you know what I like about this is it just gives some recognition to the people who uh, perform the best. And I think that adding something like this would make uh, Team Rumble uh, more rewarding for uh, the people who actually play it. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about was the possibility that we might be seeing some uh, future Tomato Head related stuff. I'm going to go into gameplay and show you that, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, that in a house north of Snobby Shores, that um, it's been updated with uh, editable uh, wood structures. And if you go inside, you could actually see that there is like a bit of a shrine to uh, Tomato Head. It was um, Tomato Head tribal like inspired pots on the ground, which are uh, is actually unbreakable. So I know people are speculating that, you know, there's probably going to be a uh, another food fight related war happening between Durburger and Tomato Head, which will just be interesting to see as uh, Season 9 progresses. 
And uh, on the topic of Tomato Head, I just wanted to uh, show you some stuff. This is all by Reddit user Pajaro Choco Milk. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, she posted this a while ago, but she reposted it again, just uh, showing some uh, a suggestion of a skin concept called uh, the Mozzarella Master. Here's a picture of her. And it would be similar to how um, how the Durburger has their worker, what is it, the Grill Sergeant. And on top of it, here's another image, uh, also posted by Pajaro Chocolate Milk on Reddit. Uh, but she says that uh, she found this from uh, Apollo on YouTube. Anyways, as you can see, it's just a uh, tomato head inspired onesie. I was reading the comments for this one, and somebody was suggesting that replace the little eyeballs on the hood with uh, tomato heads, just to add to add to it. And if you know me in real life, I am a diehard tomato head fan over Durburger, and I really just wish that uh, tomato head would get some more representation. I know that we do have the nightshade uh, tomato head female skin, but no one likes that at all, and it's completely garbage. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, especially if you have any thoughts on uh, how Fortnite could have improved on their endgame cross-promotion. And I'll be posting another video next week. See ya.